Good morning. Today we're going to look at Daisy Duck in Shout, Daisy, Shout. Daisy loved visiting Auntie Lily's. There was always so much to play with. There were the flowers, zzz, Buzz Daisy, zzz, squeaked Pip, but the bees flew away. And then there was the bird table, tweet, squeaked Daisy, squeak, squeaked Pip, but the birds took off too. Oh dear, said Auntie Lily. Try being a bit quieter, said Mama Duck. Daisy tried, but she wasn't quiet for long. She eat, eat at the mouse, and the mice ran away. And the fish went too, after she splished and she sploshed. And even the balloon floated up, up and away. Then there was nothing to play with. Come on, said Auntie Lily. I know a perfect place for being noisy and they all set off. Everyone was quacking so loudly. Now you can make as much noise as you like, said Auntie Lily. They were at the duck pond. Then the bread came out and everyone dived for it. Shout, Daisy, shout, Auntie Lily called out. Quack, quack, shouted Daisy at the top of her voice. Quack, squeaked Pip as they raced for a bit of bread. They got it and pulled and pulled and broke it in two. They softened it and munched it down. Suddenly, there were ducks everywhere. Everyone was quacking. Daisy, Pip, shouted Mama Duck. Daisy couldn't see Mama or Auntie Lily anywhere. Where's Mama? cried Pip. Quack, quack. Oh, all the quacking was too loud. Mama, cried Pip. She can't hear us, says Daisy. More bread came and everyone was pushing and shoving and shouting. Shout, Daisy, shout, cried Pip. Daisy took the deepest breath ever. Mama! Everything went quiet. And there, through the crowd, was Mama Duck. And Auntie Lily. What a voice, said Auntie Lily. Oh yes, said Mama Duck proudly. Mama, cried Pip and Daisy, and off they went back to Auntie Lily's for a very quiet afternoon sleeping. There we are. Have a lovely summer. Okay, take care.